Hi everyone, this is Kyle with KDebate. I'm going to be doing an article on something that the uh, Texas Governor Rick Perry said. He said, I'm proud we are standing up for religious freedom in our state. Freedom of religion doesn't mean freedom from religion. Also, Robert Nichols, who was a senator, said, I think it was Thomas Jefferson who said the price of liberty is eternal vigilance. One of those freedoms is the freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and as the governor was saying, the Constitution refers to the freedom of religion, not the freedom from religion. Now, the bill they were signing, which is why where these quotes came from, is the Merry Christmas Bill, allowing for the expression of religious beliefs in schools, such as saying Merry Christmas or having a Christmas tree. Those were the two examples given, but it does uh, extend to other religions, such as Hanukkah or um, Kwanzaa and stuff like that. So, what are the implications of this? What are the the ways people are going to be rea reacting to this? Uh, the first in, in the first inclination I see is that people are going to be against this bill because it sounds like they're going to be forcing people to tolerate other people's religious beliefs in a place where the religious beliefs should not be schools. But uh, there are already laws in place at schools that are oppressive, meaning. Uh, well, the government is not supposed to make laws in regard to religion, it has made it clear that schools are not allowed to have religious practices, which means that there are laws in place that are restricting religion, which goes against the First Amendment, which says, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free expression thereof. Now, there are important reasons why they made these limitations for schools, because schools are a government-funded or government-sponsored thing. People have to go to them and get their little certificates and then you go off from there. But that means governments are already sponsoring this, so the laws they made to limit the religious association with them was reasonable. They wanted to keep people from being controversial and hurting people and, you know, they didn't want to institute a prayer group or a time for prayer and then not allow somebody else to have prayer because, you know, people pray in different ways, different amount of time, different certain people pray at certain times. So they really had to just put an all-out ban on it because otherwise people were going to start complaining. And that's a legitimate grievance. Uh, but now this bill would be removing that form of oppression. And that's what that, those laws were. They were oppressive by definition. They were not allowing somebody religious freedom at a certain place with reason. But now, if our society has grown, we might be able to actually survive this in a way that actually makes us better. Um, there are going to be people on both sides. Uh, there are going to be situations that are going to be really bad or okay uh, regarding this, this bill, if it passes. Uh, if the bill is stated correctly in this article, it's going to allow freedom of expression of religion. That does not mean they are forcing religion on people. It does not mean that they are condoning religious persecution. What it means in the basis of the article was that you will now be allowed to express your religious beliefs without fear of retribution from the government. Uh, from other people, not so much. There's going to be heads butting. But they're kids. That's going to happen anyway. Uh, so the implications are pretty general. There's going to either be an explosion or people are going to uh, start, you know, not worrying about it. Because eventually one or the other is going to happen. Hopefully it's the latter. Hopefully people are just going to be cool with it. But you never know. So, <clears throat> what are the implications? Maybe this will make our culture more tolerant of other people's religions. Because if you have no association with a religion, if you have no view of it, if you don't know what it even is, how are you supposed to know how to deal with it when you see it in the real world. Um, if you've never seen somebody of a certain religious persuasion and you have no idea what they're doing and all you've heard is hearsay, then you're not really going to know what's going on when they're, when they're talking about it or doing something. So it could be a way of immersing yourself in other people's religions, which could be a very good thing. But it could also be very negative in any form of freedom of expression can be. It can be abused and used to force things on people that don't want it. So there are general grievances on both sides, and that's the important thing to discuss, not what these people just said, because it's being taken out of context. What they say freedom from religion is freedom from the oppression of religion, which is, you cannot say that, and therefore it protects me, and that's not fair either. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to end this video. 
and I hope you guys have a nice day. Peace.